Hello YouTube, welcome to White Eagles TV. I'm your host as always, Mitch. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we got nothing to talk about uh, Serbia football related, so I thought I'd do a video and uh, show or show off my collection of football jerseys that I've been collecting since I was, I can't remember when, teenager. Um, I think you guys will get a kick out of it. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite. I've got all of them pretty much. So this episode I'm going to do from 2000 to 2009 or the end of 2009 when we made the World Cup in South Africa in uh, 2009. Um, that wasn't the best World Cup, but uh, let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about our, my football jersey collection. I'm going to start with uh, the jersey we went to the Euros in in 2000 and... Oh, 2000 in uh, Holland and Belgium. This is the Adidas jersey uh, with uh, the old Yugoslavia before it was Serbia. There it is there. Uh, it's short sleeve, uh, no number on the back. Definitely one of my all time faves. Uh, the color was fantastic. Didn't do too badly at that Euros, made the uh, past the group stage. I thought we did pretty well. And uh, obviously I have the, uh, the white version as well, short sleeve. No number on the back. Uh, this was the last time we had Adidas, actually. There's a bit of a trivia for you, if anyone ever, ever has a trivia night. Uh, there you go. So had the collar up. Uh, yeah, definitely one of my all-time fave jerseys. So that was the Euro 2000. And, uh, and then the qualifiers for 2002 World Cup, which we didn't make. But I'll show you now the jersey we had for the qualifiers. Last time we actually had played as Yugoslavia was in the qualifiers uh, for uh, the uh, 2004 Euros. There it is. Uh, this is the first time we had Lotto. I, I mean, I one of my personal favorite. I love this kit. Look at that. Number 11. And who was on the back? Mihailovic. That's right. I've been wearing this all week. Uh, when the great man passed away, show, show some uh, respect. I had popped my collar. Absolutely, I popped my collar. Uh, this is a great, great kit we had. There it is there. Uh, so, and I also have the white version. Definitely looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Uh, Lotto. Uh, that's our first time with Lotto. After that, we go to the qualifiers for the 2006 World Cup. When we qualified uh, in Germany, which was a terrible World Cup, we had probably better we didn't go. There it is. That's a, another Lotto kit. Our second Lotto kit. Uh, and our first time as uh, football savers, Srbija Crnogora, when we left Yugoslavia's name and put that into the uh, dustbin of history, we became Srbija Crnogora. Obviously, on the back, number 10, you would know it. Yep, it was Dejan Stankovic. He was our captain. Look at that. That was a great kid. Obviously, I have the white one as well. There it is there. Look at that. Beautiful. A lot of tight fitting, so it was an extra large. Usually, I wear a large, but... Uh, simple design. I mean, let's face it, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, setting trends or anything like that. But after that, we go to the 2006 World Cup. This is the world, the jersey we wore for the World Cup. I've got him here. Oh, sorry, I skipped one. Here it is. Now, a lot of people hated this jersey. I, I thought it was fantastic. I, I love this pattern. Very something very um distinctive for Serbia and Sudnagora, like this sort of. The stripes here, the arrows. I thought it was fantastic. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I posted on my on the White Eagles uh, Twitter account one of my personal faves, and I still believe it. Absolutely fantastic. And the white one, just as good. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Lotto. This is our third kit with Lotto. Um, yeah. I obviously went to that World Cup and we got humiliated. Uh, let's face it. There was nothing good about it. Absolutely humiliated after that. We left Lotto. I don't know if anyone in the Sabres for maybe they were our bad luck, but we had them for four years and we, we didn't do too well. And after that, we went to Nike, or as you say, Nike. And this is the first ever Serbia kit ever released um, in history. This is it. Uh, as you saw, it had very sort of uh, almost esque, emblem esque like this, but this was it. Um, first time with Nike, and I thought it was fantastic. Had the four C's on the back. Look at that. Fantastic jersey. Simple. I, I don't have the white one. I, I, I never saw the white one for sale. So if anyone knows where I can get the white one, let me know. I'll, I'll buy it. Absolutely. Uh, now, shortly after that, we changed the emblem, which was the greatest emblem we I've ever seen for any sporting team. Uh, 
please bring this back. Uh, you can keep this for yourself, Savez. But listen to the fans. We want this back. This is the best kit. And it's basically just the same kit as the other one, just with an updated emblem. Fantastic. That emblem, please bring it back. After that, uh, we didn't make Euro 2008. Uh, we haven't made Euro since 2000. Uh, incredible, but yeah, bigger. Uh, and then we went to another kit with Nike and fantastic kit. Look at that. Um, red with just the blue here um, on the back. The Serbia and the flag there. Fantastic. It's got a bit of blue at the bottom as well. One of the best kits. And But I do have the white version. Uh, white and gold. The gold trims. Uh, it's got the eagle there on the back. Yep, the flag and Serbia. Uh, and at the bottom, look at that. That is fantastic. That is fantastic kit. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic no, it doesn't have that. On the on the new on the next video, you'll have a Tsutsu Nateren on the back of one of the uh, emblems. We didn't really have that at that World Cup. It was pretty. Um, we beat Germany, but then everything else fell apart. So that's my jersey collection from 2000 2009. Started the century 2010. I've got every. I've got them all. So I'll do another video. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I mean, it's definitely. I mean, this jersey collection of mine. It's something that I you know I love and I collect them and. I'm just happy I can show it to you guys and let me know what you think, if you like them, um, which one's your favorite, which one's your least favorite. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and um, uh, stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.